Okay, this is a theory of how gravity works, and uh, to get started here, uh, suppose I have two magnets, two bar magnets here, <coughs> yeah, negative charge, positive, positive, negative, and let's say one magnet is stationary like this, the other magnet is spinning over here like that and uh, is not stationary it can move around uh, it's just spinning you know like half the time it's facing this way or you've got <coughs> unlikes attract half the time it's facing this way and likes repel so the question is what would happen if this magnet is spinning and floating Half the time it's attracting, half the time it's repelling. Will the magnet stay where it's at? Will it eventually move away? Or will it come toward the stationary one? The answer to that is that the spinning magnet will always move toward the stationary one. The reason is because when they are like this and repelling the force of that repulsion is diminishing very quickly as the distance between them increases that means that like say the force is 100 here when it's twice the distance away it isn't 50 it's uh, more like 5 <coughs> and the opposite is true here. When they're unlikes and attracting, the force between them is increasing inversely and they're accelerating together. And what that means is, is that yes, it's pushing away and it's pulling, but overall it's pulling. Uh, it's a net attraction and it's always an attraction and it's always an accelerated attraction and this is important um, in this little thought experiment you can do this with magnets if you really want to this is important because all matter that we know of is made of positive and negative charges all matter that we know of is in motion so from this we can draw a principle that all matter being made of charges and in motion will be attracted to all other matter at an accelerated rate and if it's true for magnets it's true for all matter why magnets are made of matter um, I don't know. It makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> um, a lot of people would say gravity is an illusion. It's a uh, motion. It's like when you spin something, you get pushed to the outside. Like in that uh, uh, amusement park ride, you get pushed to the outside. Uh, it's it's an illusion of motion. Gravity is motion. Well, it is. It's true here. Gravity is the pull and the push of matter on a atomic scale or subatomic scale. But it's an eventual pull. And what's important is that this shows that it's an accelerated attraction and gravity is also an accelerated attraction. Anyway, I believe this is how it works. And uh, it makes sense makes more sense than just saying space is or gravity is the curvature of space-time or something and uh, you know it's a uh, it's a stepping stone if we truly understood how gravity works we could manipulate it maybe someday someone will 
figure out how to do that.